peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the welfare of the Holy Church is God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Praise be added to our Metropolitan T. Con, for his eminence, our Archbishop Alexander, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord this city and every city and countryside and the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Remembering our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thank you. 
Yeah. 
sits down both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Who will not bless you, O most holy virgin? Who will not sing of your most good child, Mary? The only begotten Son shall time with sleep from the Father. But from you he was ineffably incarnate. God by nature yet man for our sake. God to persons but one God into the sixth stone. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. shall not be
Therefore they will receive a glorious crown and a beautiful diadem from the hand of the Lord, because with his right hand he will cover them, and with his arm he will shield them. The Lord will take his seal as his whole armor and will arm all creation to repel his enemies. He will put on righteousness as a breastplate and wear impartial justice as a helmet. He will take holiness as an invincible shield and sharpen stern wrath for a sword and creation will join with him to fight against the madmen. Shafts of lightning will fly with true aim and will leap to the target as from a well-drawn pole clouds and hailstones full of wrath will be hurled as from a catapult. The water of the sea will rage against them, and rivers will relentlessly overwhelm them. A mighty wind will rise against them, and like a tempest it will winnow them away. Lawlessness will lay waste the whole earth, and evil doing will overturn the thrones of rulers. Listen, therefore, O kings, and understand. Learn, O judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear, you that rule over multitudes and boast of many nations. For your dominion was given you from the Lord, and your sovereignty from the Most High, who will search out your works and inquire into your plans. Wisdom, the reading from John, let us attend. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. But by this you know the Spirit of God, Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. You are of God, little children, and have overcome him, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world. Therefore they speak as of the world, and the world hears them. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Wisdom. Reading from John. Let us attend. If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not know, who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. Whoever believes that Christ is, Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves him and begotten also loves him who is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say. Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray for our Metropolitan Tecon, for our Archbishop Alexander, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy church, for the newly departed servant of God's sky, and for our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox depart of this life before us, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord, 
Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, the brethren of this holy community, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and all the people who are here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy. For thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace, Lord, have mercy. that the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To thee, O 
O Lord our God, who dispel the heavens and come down for the salvation of mankind, look upon thy servants and thine inheritance, for unto thee the fearful judge who yet lovest mankind, have thy servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy, and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, and from vain thoughts and evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the mind of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The resurrection of Christ our Savior, the angels in heaven sing, and enable us on earth to glorify thee with purity of all. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty, Destroying the gates of hell, breaking the chains of death. Thou didst resurrect the fallen womb and raise as Almighty God. O Lord, who didst rise from the dead, glory to Thee. For He hath established the world so that it shall never be moved. Desiring to return us to paradise, Christ was nailed to the cross and placed in a tomb. Overbearing women sought him with tears crying, What do our souls say? second tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Father Jacob, you have been revealed as a true mother of Christ, as a faithful servant at the altar and a priest of the Lord, and instructed. Say. 
is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The angelic powers were at thy tomb. The gods became as dead men. Mary stood by thy grave, seeking thy most pure body. Thou didst capture hell of being tempted by it. Thou didst come to the virgin Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, of the holy and all laudable apostles of St. Innocent, the patron of this community, of the holy Jacob, of uh, the Enlightener of Alaska, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and loves mankind.
Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. 